So I'm gonna set up a discussion board for my course so my students can ask questions when they're stuck or confused and they can see answers to other students' questions and maybe even answer their own questions themselves. So the first thing I need to do is go to settings and then um, in course, so let's see, I wanna to go to navigation and I need to make sure that discussions are in the menu that students can see that it's in this upper menu that's available here. So I'm going to look and find discussions and I can click on the three dots and say enable and now it's in the part that my students can see as long as I go to the bottom and press save. So um, it still has the little eyeball, it's not visible to students because I have no content there. I'm going to go to discussions and I'm going to create a discussion. I'm going to say um, Q&A, and I'm going to um, give them a little comment section or description. Now I'm going to post this to all of my sections. I could post a different discussion to my different periods. So I can have one question that's just for, or one discussion board that's just for first period, one that's just for third, etc. But I have it as all sections. You could attach a file if you need to. Um, you have, you can attach videos and all these different things. Um, but this is just generally for like question and answers because you don't want 100 students emailing you and asking you the same question. If they post it here, you can answer it once and other students can find it. I do want to allow threaded replies, which makes it easy for students to respond to each other. In this case, I'm not going to use users must post before seeing replies because I want them to see other students' questions and answers if they've already been answered. It's not going to be graded. I can allow students to like it if they like the question. Um, and I'm going to say save and publish. Now I'm going to go back to my discussion page. And I want this as a pinned discussion because this is going to be on the top of the page so students will see this all the time. Now you can choose to allow students to create their own separate discussions and that is something that you would need to turn on in settings and go to course details and this is down in more options. And you can choose to allow students to create discussion topics. So you need to be careful. I have been hesitant with ninth graders allowing them to create their own discussion topics, but it might be helpful if we are doing distance learning and students are working on an assignment and they have questions about that particular assignment, they can create their own discussion that is available to the entire class and um, just about that one topic. So for older kids, I definitely see that could be helpful, but you do need to monitor it in case students are doing things that they shouldn't be doing. I'm gonna then um, update course content if I click on that to make sure I save it so students can create their own discussion topics.